Marcus Conte, former sanitation enforcement agent, YouTube investigative reporter on the scene. Only reporting one subject right now, but hey, what the hell, you know? Got to start somewhere. So anyway, I wanted to uh, recap. A lot, lot going on. You see how I like persistence and determination? I think that's becoming the theme here. <clears throat> persistence and determination where... One of my favorite movies, the movie uh, 300, where there's that scene where the where the where the king is the king of Sparta. He's he's explaining to the troops that their numbers, they're in, when, when you when you're when you're within your rights and you can overpower them, that their numbers amount for nothing. Right? And how many numbers? You know, sanitation, ten thousand employees, and, I don't know, a couple of hundred. Uh, Executives, probably a hundred or two, <laughs> six and seven figure people. It's crazy. You know, corporate counsel, 2,000 lawyers, but they can't stop the truth. You know what I mean? They can't stop, a, you know, they can't stop the truth, you know. So, so you know, we proved their quota, right? Let's just talk about what we proved already. We've proved with, with, um, actual evidence, with, with direct evidence that the quota exists, right, in audio. We proved that direct evidence of punitive measures for people who fail to meet that quota. Right? Foot patrol, sectoring, block facing, right? Confirmed, right? We've proved that retaliation and punitive measures uh, are used to stop people like me, write-ups, fake write-ups. Probably That's probably the most severe of all of it, which is uh, getting fired, right? termination. Right? So we proved all that. We have you know, direct evidence, eyewitness testimony, piles of it. What we haven't proved quite yet, but it's coming, stand by, it's coming, is the use of a uh, this payroll fraud going on. I've spoken about this before. Payroll fraud. What we suspect is that the agency is creating ghost employees, where they're in the field, but they're they're not their names, but they're not real people, and that these guys are liquidating the accounts. So there's more there's more coming on that. Stand by with that. We've also proved that. There is a preponderance, you know, that the tools, preponderance of evidence that the tools of choice to keep all this bullshit in place is racism. The use of racism, compromise, compromising people, racism. And a term, it might be new to you, it's not new to me, is gaslighting. It's the use of, uh, you yeah. gaslighting is, uh, it's, it's emotional abuse where you're constantly moving the flagpole, constantly... Um, constantly changing the, the, the parameters of the game so that anybody who participates can't win. The house always wins. It's like going to a casino that's, you know, rigged or an election that's rigged. You can't win. Right? You, can only, you can only show up, but in the end, no matter what you do, if you pick A, they said it was B. If you pick B, they say, oh, no, no, it was A. So that's the gaslighting structure and all these things have held an illegal quota in place for 30 years and it's not just me doing this okay it's look this is crowdsourcing okay it's crowdsourcing it's you guys it's the people inside the DSMY it's uh, it's a lot of people watching this there's professionals and in, in legal professionals there's a number of just educated people that you know law enforcement that are watching this, and they're they're feeding me uh, details, and uh, you know the DSNY people that are feeding details from the inside. Look, we don't need much, right? It doesn't take much to to smoke these guys out, you know. So what we need is, look, if I win, if Conti wins his appeal, right? If in Conti versus DSNY, if Conti wins his appeal, right, and we have we make we set a precedence. Right, that's what it's called. It's a legal precedent. 
because it's been no one's been able to do it for thirty years. They've all, all <clears throat> the whole table has been rigged against against. Let me just cross the street before I die, right? So, so again, if Conti wins, everybody wins. That's why it's not. I, I've always said it's not just about me. It's about setting a legal precedence that anybody could come along and file suit thereafter and just reference Conti vs. DSMY. That is, that's the ultimate, that's the ultimate goal of the legal part of it. And how do we do that? We have to keep yelling and screaming because the courts are not listening. All the, all the fake, you know, discrimination agencies, they're not listening. The agent, the, the, the people within, saw inside the executive branch of DSNY are paralyzed. They don't, they can't move. Right? But we keep banging on the door. It's not about numbers, right? All of a lot of a lot of the information of late has come from from the crowd. And you know, I, I encourage you to keep doing that. Again. Shh, that's how they put the noose around your neck. If you if you speak out openly, right, that's how you win. That's how you win. That's how you that's how they, you set the house on fire and you see all the rats come running out. Right. Also it's like this there's, there's like the DSMY uses a phenomenon of uh, isolation, right? Where they isolate people, where it's like everybody's in their own separate car and nobody really communicates. It's not to say that you have to be friendly with people at the, in the workplace. It's actually the opposite. You just have to be... That's the function of a union, but you, you guys don't have that. You don't have a union hall. You don't have a, a regular time where people come together and discuss these types of issues, right? So you have no communication. That's how they win. Because they're, they're all their... If there's wind, I, there's nothing I can do about it. It's slightly windy out. But uh, that's how they win, you know, with this, this sense of... Uh, this sense of isolation, you know, where they isolate you from the guy next to you and then they, and they, 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 they gaslight you, you know, and you don't know what the truth is. You don't, you know, people... You stay in DSNY after a year, you think up is down and down is up, right? Only until you actually walk away from it, you realize it's good. people are a bunch of jerk offs, really. In the end of the day, you know. And I, look, I don't, I don't, I don't want their respect. Right? I don't want their respect. I don't want their acknowledgement. I don't care, you know. So, look, it's when someone when someone abuses you, right? When you when you're in an abusive relationship. You don't go to the abuser and say, oh, please forgive me. You say, you know, that's the last thing you do. Because every time, look, every time these jerk-offs gaslight you, where, where a fact, they start to change the fact, oh, foot patrol, that's not punishment, we never did that. Or, oh, no, no, we haven't, we haven't held a quote in, you know, since the 80s. You know, whatever the fuck, whatever other kind of lie they tell. Every time they do that, and you conform, or they give you... They give you a fake write up, and you just accept it. They get stronger. They get stronger in their in their in their um, in their approach, right? The abuser gets stronger when you succumb to the abuse, right? That's how it. That's that's the problem. It's still ongoing, right? It's still ongoing. You know all the sexual stuff that people have told me. I gave you the instructions. Go on the go on the go on the look at the video with the. Instructions on how to, how to file New York State Division of Human Rights case. File there, start there. They might help you, especially if you're a, a woman, especially if you're a person of color. They, they love you. <laughs> they, they'll pucker up to you. But being in your 50s, white guy, it, it ain't, they, you know, they, they're just, you know, male. They treat, they treat me. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about me. It's a harder fight. So, um... But that's all I want to say. It's a it's a good day. The war isn't over. It's the war is over when you guys decide it's over. When you guys start to use your real names, right? When you come forward and say enough is enough already, you know? This is, what's the what's the big secret? What's the big secret? You think they have you over the barrel with you know look, you can't sign away your your, your rights to free speech and freedom and you can't sign it away, even if even if they're telling you that's what they that's what you did. Oh no, you can't. Okay, so have a good day.